द बारबर्स ट्रेड यूनियन बाय मुल्क राज आनंद कैरेक्टर्स समरी एनालिसिस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द डिस्कोर्स मुल्क राज आनंद वॉज अ ब्रेव राइटर वो डील्ड विद द पॉलिटिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड सोसाइटल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द टाइम एंड ऑफर्ड सोल्यूशन इन हिज ओन वे a similar story of the struggle of a growing kid against the prejudiced and discriminatory society is told by mulk raj anand in the barbers trade union chandu is the protagonist a teenage boy unlike bakha untouchable and munnu kuli who was submissive and succumbed to the circumstances chandu is a dynamic character full of confidence candor and ingenuity summary of the barbers trade union The narrator introduces Chandu as one of the makers of modern India. Chandu and the narrator used to live in the same village and they attended the same school. Chandu was a good student. Chandu's father was the barber of the village. The narrator's mother didn't like Chandu much because Chandu won a scholarship at school while she had to pay fees for her son to be taught. Furthermore, the narrator belonged to a higher ca- class and caste. His mother always dissuaded him from being a friend of Chandu a low caste. Chandu's father died of an illness and he had to stop his studies so that he may work and earn for his living. He already had learned all the skills of a barber and his father had taught him some other skills too like treating pimples, boils and ulcers on people's bodies. Chandu started visiting the homes of all the important people of the village including the landlord Vijay Chand lawyer Lala Hukum Chand Pandit Parmanand and the sahukar moneylender and shopkeeper of the village to shave their beards and cut their hair promptly everyone would offer two paise for his services that his mother would collect he used to visit raja vijay chand's house every morning to shave his beard often people gave gifts to chandu for his good behavior and prompt service the subedar of the village offered him khaki pants to wear while lala hukum chand offered his old frayed black velvet waistcoat decorated all over with shell buttons that he no longer used and a round felt cap to chandu The narrator always felt a bit envious of Chandu as Chandu enjoyed much more freedom. After completing his routine of duties in the village and taking bath, Chandu used to visit the nearby big town while sitting on the footrest of the closed carriage of Lala Hukum Chand who used to daily visit the district court situated in the town. as he was earning he often used to buy little gifts for the narrator and would tell him the marvelous rich things he used to see in the big market of the town chandu often used to talk about kalan khan a dentist who worked in the town chandu often observed him during his visits to the town and was highly impressed by his sense of duty and his clothing While he was working as a barber he had this dream of becoming a doctor but he couldn't as he already had dropped out of school Chandu would often talk about the nice impressive dressing sense of Kalan Khan who used to wear a starched shirt with an ivory collar and bow tie a black coat and stripped pantaloons and leather shoes Dr Kalan Khan also had a leather bag that he used to keep his instruments to be used in the dentistry. One day Chandu informed the narrator that he has bought a new set of barber instruments. He asked if it would be a good idea if he buys a leather bag for the new instruments, a new shirt, a coat, stripped pants and a pair of black leather shoes like dentist Kalan Khan. The narrator said that it would help him keep his tools properly and he will look great in the new dress. Chandu said that though he cannot learn as much as Dr. Kalan Khan, his father taught him to treat pimples, boils and ulcers on people's bodies. Thus, even though he is not a doctor, he knows how to treat people and can wear the same clothes. The narrator agreed with him and encouraged him to buy the leather bag and new clothes. The next day when Chandu visited landlord Vijay Chand's house to shave his beard Vijay Chand noticed his leather bag and leather shoes and got furious he stopped him from entering his house and debased the house with the leather shoes and leather bag which he said is made of the skin of the of a dead cow 
Chandu said that this is the dress of a doctor to which the landlord abused him and said that he is the son of a barber and will always remain a barber and he should wear clothes befitting his status of a lot born barber. He threatened him that if he saw him again in such a dress, he will flog him. Chandu got out of the landlord's house and proceeded to Sahukar's shop to shave his beard. Sahukar saw him coming out of the landlord's house and started abusing him. He said that when Chandu must take care of his old mother and home as his father is no more, he is engaging in nefarious activities and disgusting himself as a clown. He told him to get rid of the clothes of hospital folks and then only he will let him touch his hair. Chandu was humiliated and decided to go away from there. The narrator was observing all this and he tried to support him. He said that the Sahukar must ask Pandit Parmanand who was coming out of the house of the landlord as he was summoned by Bijachan for cleaning his house because Chandu entered there with leather shoes. Pandit Parmanand shouted at the narrator for supporting Chandu. Pandit said that if the narrator works hard and studies well in school, he may become a doctor one day and then he may wear the dress of hospital folks, but Chandu, being a low caste born, has no right to wear such a dress. Chandu was too humiliated and he decided to run away from the village. In the evening, the narrator saw Chandu again. He informed the narrator that he went to the town where he earned more than a rupee by shaving the beards of people in the market. He said that what happened to him in the morning was good after all as it offered him a way to earn much more. Chandu said that now he has decided to teach a lesson to all those who humiliated him. He said that within 3-4 days he will show the narrator something so hilarious that he will have the best love of his life. The next day Chandu met the narrator and said that he has decided to buy a second hand cycle from Lala Hukumchand's son for rupees 5 and asked the narrator to help him in learning to ride the bicycle. It will allow him to go to the town early in the morning without waiting for Lala Hukumchand's career. The narrator agrees to help him learn to ride the bicycle. Chandu's mother is anxious though as the people of the village told her that they won't let Chandu work in the village unless he atones his sin of using leather shoes and a leather bag. Chandu being ingenious and intelligent learns to ride the bicycle pretty soon and starts going to the town and earning much more than he was earning in the village. As his mother sees that her son is making much more money, she decides to support him and oppose the villagers. After 4-5 days, Chandu visits the narrator's house and takes him to show the hilarious thing he promised. He takes him to a farm village, farm of a village potter near the house of the landlord from where they could see the front of Sahukar's shop. The narrator and Chandu observe a gathering of farmers sitting in front of the shop as they have come to sell their crops to the landlord and Sahukar. Chandu asks the narrator if he has observed something weird, to which the narrator says no. Then Chandu, Chandu says that the narrator should see carefully and then he will see the landlord sitting among the peasants with, with his long jawed face dirtied by the white scum of his unshaven beard. As the narrator notices, he laughs loudly. Then the narrator also sees the sahukar with an excessive mustache, dirtied by the brown tinge of tobacco he is chewing. Chandu asks the narrator to go running fast by the shop while shouting beavers beavers satirizing the landlord and sahukar. The narrator read readily agrees as he remembered how they abused his friend a few days ago. As the narrator passes by the shop and shouts beavers beavers, the peasants sitting around them starts laughing loudly. This angered the landlord who told his man to catch the boy as he is supporting Chandu the barber. But they failed to catch the narrator. The landlord, Sahukar and other eminent men of the village were deeply troubled as it has been seven days since Chandu stopped taking care of their growing beards and hair.
द रूमर ऑफ चंदू स्ट्राइक स्प्रेड लाइक फायर द साहूकार केम अप विद अ सॉल्यूशन एंड टोल्ड द लैंड लॉर्ड टू कॉल द बार्बर फ्रॉम द नियर बाय विलेज वेर का टू कट देयर बियर्ड एंड हेयर एंड इन रिटर्न दे मे पे हिम वन आना इंस्टेड ऑफ टू पैसे However, Chandu had already thought of this situation, and he outwitted them by contacting Thundu, the barber of Verka, who was his cousin. Chandu had seen Niranjan Das's barber shop in the town many times. Together, Thundu and Chandu they opened a shop beside the road from the village to the town. They decided that from from that day they won't go to anybody's house to shave their beard or cut their hair. If anybody has to take their services, they must visit their shop and pay the genuine fee. They decided to name their shop Chandu Brothers Hair Dressing and Shaving Saloon. So this is it for today. We will continue to discuss the history of in Indian English literature. Please stay connected with the discourse. Thanks and regards.